Hey guys, Gen3D Tech here. Today we're going to be unboxing the new Final Mouse Tenzi Edition. We've got a Media Mouse here, and this is actually my very first Final Mouse. I've tried to get them in the past, but I've always missed out on all the drops. And I've never wanted to pay scalpers the uh, exorbitant amount of money this cut. I've never wanted to pay scalpers the exorbitant amount of money that they're asking for on a mouse that's already almost ridiculously expensive to begin with. Um, so I've just avoided it in the past, but I was able to get a hold of this one on the last drop because they finally made enough to meet the demand to where it wouldn't sell out within a few seconds. But anyways, let's get into it. So normally I don't do unboxing videos, but I've never actually uh, got a chance to check out a final mouse. So I thought I'd do it just for this one. So as you can see, the seal's still on the box. We'll go ahead and break it. So uh, initial reaction is it looks like the uh, the scroll wheel on mine is a little bit off center. It is very light. It does seem pretty sturdy on the sides. There's a little bit of flex on the top. A little bit on the bottom. The Default mouse gates feel pretty nice. Yeah, they actually feel really nice on the sir pad. Even though the scroll wheel is off center, it does feel okay. Buttons are okay. They're, they're not as clicky as I would like, but they're definitely not bad. EPI button's fine. The clicks are good. Kind of crazy it doesn't have a USB-C port. Which you'd think by now that they would. And it's kind of hard to see on camera, but they do have these ketchup and mustard cables in there which is kind of ridiculous to be using that even though it's it's not terribly easy to see but if you look hard enough you can definitely see it uh, I do like the look of the mouse it's got engraving black uh, stripe there I mean it's an attractive looking mouse for sure definitely very light Like I said, the uh, the skate's really nice, actually. There's what comes in the box. You got these uh, Infinity Skins, braided uh, USB cable, USB micro, kind of a big dongle. So there's what you get in the box. Go ahead and plug it in. So I wasn't sure if I should get the medium or the small. I kind of almost wish I got the small. Even though this does fit in my hand pretty good. I'd be very curious to see what the small feels like. Fortunately, I don't know anybody who has one uh, in the Austin area uh, where I live. but And I don't feel like paying for <laughs> another one just to, get, just to see what it feels like. But I definitely would be curious to see what the small feels like. Uh, I was a little... Surprise watching uh, Fresh Review's stream and he definitely uh, preferred the uh, small version and he's got way bigger hands than me so I found that kind of interesting. For the most part it's a pretty positive uh, first impression. Now I uh, admit that the feeling of this magnesium 
shell that I've heard so much about is not exactly what I thought it would feel like. It honestly feels almost like a, a metallic painted plastic. It doesn't feel metal to me, but uh, I guess it's not, like I said, it's not exactly how I thought it was going to feel. But it's, it's interesting and it's definitely uh, very light. <laughs> you definitely don't need to hit the gym to be able to use this mouse. Anyways, I'm not going to go too much more into it. Uh, I'll leave all the uh, specs for the uh, full review. And I'll go ahead and start testing out this mouse so I can get a, a good opinion for my uh, review. Anyways, that's it. And uh, just check back when I've got the full review posted. And I'll see you then. Later.